There have been a number of high-profile failures of AI um, in, in recent years. Experts say that while artificial intelligence may be smart, it isn't always unbiased. There are, of course, well-known demonstrations of failures of uh, Google image search, where it uh, mistakes African-American people for gorillas. Patrick Shafto is the Henry Rucker's term chair in data science and professor of mathematics and computer science at Rucker's Newark. Shafto was one of nine experts in the fields of computer, information science, human rights, and employment law that attended the AI conference at Rutgers Newark. About 100 students and staff attended the event, where speakers held presentations focused on the issues of social justice and workforce development when it comes to artificial intelligence. So basically, algorithms are, the, are what's actually grading these interviews rather than humans. Ifoma Junwa is assistant professor of employment and labor law at Cornell University. She says because algorithms are created by humans, they aren't always neutral. Ajunwa says part of the problem with artificial intelligence is the lack of legal oversight when it comes to discrimination. These algorithms are not being audited, so like companies can just basically adopt a hiring platform or a hiring algorithm, but they never actually audit it to see, well, who applied and who didn't get accepted. And worse, they might actually be doing it based on what are called protected characteristics. So protected characteristics are things that um, basically indicate race, gender, um, and it, algorithms might actually be using that to exclude people. If a certain company already has a majority white workforce or a majority male workforce, then if they're using an algorithm that's meant to replicate their workforce, then those sort of imbalances will just be replicated. Those types of imbalances concern students like Shreya Kateta. The 22-year-old is worried that biased algorithms could block her from a job opportunity if, for example, it detects that she is a mother. It could affect me because I'm a woman and obviously if algorithms like that do exist where you can't, like you can't put, on, put in your uh, like preferred hours, then that will be a problem for me. Suppose I'll obviously have a family next, kids, husband, so balancing out will, will be an issue. So you're walking down the street going for, let's say, a job interview at a retail store and they have this precognition AI and this precognition AI says, oh, this person is likely to steal from, you, from the store. Carl Rickson is professor of computer science at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. Rixenek's presentation focused on bias in facial recognition. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture of you and I'm going to say whether or not you're worthy of credit. Can you buy this house? Can you lease this apartment? That's ridiculous. So we really need to be careful with these technologies and we really need to sort of put them under sort of scrutinies. So we need to be educating our kids uh, so that they understand what AI is and what the social implications are so that we can train lawyers of the future who understand AI and how to protect against it. Shafto says the event was one way to bring awareness and start a conversation about artificial intelligence as it becomes increasingly a part of people's lives lives, especially in a city like Newark that is now considered a tech hub. In Newark, Raven Santana and JTV News.